going to explain how to patch a modular synthesizer. This is a synthesizers.com modular, very similar to the old Moog. It's made in Texas. It's a very nice unit. This is a 22 space cabinet fully loaded with modules. For it to work, you have to wire the modules together using patch cables. This portable has three oscillators, which are the sound generators two envelope generators which are kind of a special form of amplifier that controls the amplitude of the wave over time two filters two amplifiers for attenuating the signal that comes out a mixer we have other supporting modules but those are the ones we'll be using in order to generate a patch you need to have a controller output usually a keyboard and it will produce um, a control voltage and a gate voltage. The control voltage we can plug into this multiple, uh, excuse me, control voltage we'll plug into the multiple here. This is just a splitter. It takes one input and produces three outputs. So this is the control voltage from either the MIDI uh, adapter or from a control voltage keyboard. The gate output from the keyboard will plug in here. This will be used later to control the envelope. Now we need to run the signal. So this is sending control voltage signal uh, from the keyboard to these multiples. We now need to plug the control voltage signal into an oscillator. Take that, we'll plug into the first oscillator using the exponential frequency 1 volt per octave jack. We now need to wire something from the oscillator to some other part of the synthesizer. We'll run a signal out from the oscillator, a ramp wave, from here into the input of the state variable filter here. So the filter will allow us to control the tone of the uh, signal output, the, the audio output. Okay, so now we've got a signal going from the oscillator to a filter. We now need to take a signal from the filter, we'll plug into the low pass output of the filter and put it into the signal input jack of the amplifier right here. So now we could actually um, we could actually hear this if we plug this into an amplifier. If I press a key See, we have no control over the amplitude of the initial wave. That's because we're not yet plugged into an envelope generator. So what we need to do now is to add some extra control. Okay, so we need to exercise some control over the signal. We've got this gate output coming from our keyboard. And that acts as a kind of a, a switch any time a key is pressed. So we're going to use that to trigger the envelope generator. We plug from the output of the keyboard into the gate input of an envelope generator. Take the output of the envelope generator and plug it into the control input number one of the amplifier. We should now have more control over the sound. We can with the envelope generator, we can change the attack. Make it quick, make it slow. We can affect the sustain level. We can take the sustain level down to zero. Filter. <laughs> 
we can make this a little bit more useful by instead of going out directly from the amp, going instead to a mixer, then wiring the output of this amp into the mixer. This way we can have multiple outputs. This should achieve the same thing. taken the two outputs from the keyboard, the control voltage, and wire that into an oscillator using this multiple connection. Output from the oscillator into a filter. Output from the filter into an amplifier signal. And an output from the amplifier into a mixer. And then out to your speakers. We also have the gate signal which just tells us when a key is pressed that we run to the envelope generators, output to the envelope generators, control voltage to the amplifier so that we can control the level of the audio signal. And that's a basic patch from start to finish.